What's up guys? Welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at something a little special. I'm just gonna open it up because I'm excited. I did open the top, but I didn't even pull it out yet. So I just wanted to make sure. This is the backpack that we've all been waiting for. <sighs> Come on. Oh man, that, that feels like a serious backpack already. Oh boy. Now this is called the Life Pack. Now, from the outside, you can't really see if, I mean, you can't really tell that there's really much going on, but there's a lot going on inside this little bag. First off, what is the deal with this big square? Uh-huh, yeah, probably by the thumbnail, you already know. There we go. What's this red cable, you say? It's an actual lock. Uh, it's with a, like, one of those metal cables, but it's actually a padlock, and lock this thing down, it's not going anywhere. Lock it to a table, okay? Then you, then they're gonna have to walk out with the table. On the side, you got a little pocket, and I'm not really sure what that's for, actually. Or maybe that's for putting your keys on there or something? But anyway, you got a pocket there, you got a pocket on this side. Now, this one is a little special. Inside of this pocket, you've actually got a USB port, because there's something special on the inside. All right, let's open this thing up. Oh wow, ooh, man, that feels sturdy as all get out. Oh my goodness, look at that. So right on the inside flap, you can see there's the USB cable. This is gonna be for plugging in something that, I'll get to this in a second, but there's the USB cable. Now on the inside, you've got plenty of spots for pockets. You got this really nice liner, I like that. Oh, there, there we go. It comes with a bottle opener on the inside and this little hook, so maybe you can put your keys in there or something like that. Oh, oh man, it's there. The solar bank. That's the magic. This thing is actually split up into two compartments. This is the personal end. You know, say you're traveling, you're on a business trip or something like that, and you've got your personal stuff in here, and you've got your business stuff back here, and that's the beauty of it. You can separate it. The CEO of SoulGuard actually said that he's actually pulled out a laptop, and then boom, here comes a sock. You know, so how embarrassing is that? Okay, so on the inside of the business end, you've got this huge space right here. Now, this is for a laptop. The bottom is so padded that you can just throw your laptop in there and it's safe. With room to spare, so if you even have a bigger laptop, it'll fit. Plus you got other compartments here. You can put the laptop here if you want to. All this silica gel, fantastic. This compartment right here is for like putting paper. You have a double mesh pocket here. Plenty of spots for pens. Now on the back, this is where the four hidden pockets are. You've got two in the shoulder straps themselves, so you can put your credit cards or a little bit of money or a love note, whatever. And then on the back side, which holy moly, that is really super thick padding. You see that? Yeah, my thumb just disappears in it. And then you got two pockets on the back, so you can fit some stuff in here. Very, very cool. Nice, cool hidden compartments. Now on the bottom, this is really cool. Now this is something that I think all backpacks should probably incorporate. I don't see why they wouldn't. So Soulguard, thank you for setting a standard here, but in this bottom pocket, you can pull this out, and it is a raincoat for your backpack. Look at this. So, and it stays strapped on there. You can unstrap it if you want to. So you stick it on the bottom first, then you pull it up. Look at that. Oh my God, that is a waterproof backpack if there ever was one, that is so cool. So imagine, you know, you're going, you're coming from school, you got a long walk home or whatever, it's raining, pull this bad boy out, wrap it up and all your stuff is very protected. Very, very cool, I really like that. And of course, because it's gonna be wet, you're probably not gonna wanna store it right back in there. So it has the this little latch here, take that off, dry it out, stick it back in and you're good to go for the next time. Stuff that back in there. And I think that actually adds a little bit of padding for the bottom for the laptop. Very cool. That is some real serious material. So the top part here is for this, the solar bank. This is a three-in-one solar bank. Four hours of sunlight gives you a full phone charge. Plus it's a speaker and it actually lasts 96 hours. So it's a pretty full-size power bank. And it goes right inside. And the cool thing is, is this it's built to be right here. So, I mean, you know, walking around outside, you're always gonna be getting a charge. These right here are the uh, the LED lights show you the power level. Press power button once to check the power level. Boom, okay, so we got two bars. Look at that. That's the solar panel. That's cool, so there's the speaker side. Very cool looking, look at that. 
Now on the side, you've actually got your auxiliary port for headphones, two USB ports for charging, and then you've got a micro USB port for actually for charging the actual power bank. Imagine just standing there and all of a sudden you start blasting some music. People are like, where's where's that coming from? Okay, so now it's, it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. It's connected, awesome. Now there is no visible audio controls on here, so we're gonna have to just control it with this. It's not too bad. Let's hear what the bass sounds like on this thing. Whoa! It's got, it's got a little rumble to it. It's not bad. Once you've got your Solar Bank 3, you get this Velcro and you open it up. You wanna make sure the solar side is on the outside, but if you are fully charged and you just wanna blast that music, you face it the other way around. So now you just Velcro that down. You plug this in to the side. There we go. That USB cable on the inside leads over to this side pocket. So you plug that in just like that. And you don't even need to leave it open. You can, you can close it about like this and you got the cable hanging out. Now, should be, there we go. There we go, look at that. Just to have it on hand, I could just store this cable in here. And when I'm out and about, what if somebody goes, hey, do you have a charger I can use? How's that look? It's not bad, all right. Let's hear some tunes. That's kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> I was just thinking, with this, have you ever have you ever imagined like you're walking into a place or maybe you're just having a good day, you get that good feel about you and you just in your mind you've got a soundtrack, right? You got a soundtrack, you got your own theme song while you're walking. You don't have to wish that anymore. Turn this bad boy on while you're walking down the street and everybody goes by and be like, dude's got his own soundtrack. Like <laughs> I got to say this thing is pretty amazing. Definitely exceeded my expectations. The build quality of this is amazing. The comfort, the foamy cushioniness of the bottom and the actual straps themselves. This is definitely a everyday, every use type of backpack. I mean, I could even see myself maybe throwing just camera gear in here for when I'm going like on site somewhere or something. This would be great. This is the black one, but I believe it comes in like, uh, I think it comes in gray also. It's like a titanium gray. Also, the material that this is made of, this is supposed to be an anti-cut. Uh, material. It's supposed to be really super strong. This does not feel like a cheap backpack at all. I would say for 150 bucks, that you're definitely gonna get your money's worth out of this thing. I have now dubbed this the best backpack I have ever had my hands on. Solgar definitely knows what they're doing when it comes to backpacks. Definitely go check it out. This thing is awesome. It's premium backpack. You looking for a premium backpack? Soulguard is the way to go, for sure, no doubt. Anyway, I'm gonna leave links down in the description below as usual. Uh, as for now, get out of here.